No, no Lucasfilm, naughty Lucasfilm, you are not getting away with this. Hey everyone, my name's Jim and welcome back to My Movie Obsession, a place for film obsessives and geeky movie fans. Now, I've been holding this in guys, I've just been trying to sort of get on with videos, get on with life, but this is just, this is like a shroud hanging over me. Now I know there are loads of fans out there of The Last Jedi, of The Force Awakens, and this is not an attack on them. Once again, this is not an attack on them. If you enjoy this new Star Wars, I'm so happy for you. I wish I could join you on that. I didn't mind The Force Awakens, but just in retrospect, I'm not that big of a fan. The Last Jedi is a load of old ass. That name no longer has any meaning for me. Of Luke Skywalker killing himself and saying sod off to the Rebellion. Or whoever they are, I think those left, the rebe I guess they're called the Rebellion. But just saying, sod off, I don't care, I'm not even going to appear properly to fight, I'm just going to give you a little bit of leeway, and you can run whilst I distract Kylo Ren. I'm not even going to fight him, just going to distract him. Like something out of Home Alone. What the hell? You'll find them full of surprises. But now we get to the trailer for Star Wars Episode 9, The Rise of Skywalker, which makes no sense because there's no Skywalkers left. Is Rey finally going to find out that she's Luke's daughter? Uh, just the whole thing seems cobbled together. And that's what annoys me so much about this new Star Wars. Disney got the name, and they went, right, we're gonna write this how we want to. We don't care about the legacy, fan backlash. And then they started to cobble together each film as it came out to change things up, to, to rectify their own mistakes. So the whole thing feels like it's cobbled together. Nothing fits, nothing flows. You know, The Force Awakens had a different person behind it to The Last Jedi, who went down his own zany path, and now they're trying to pull it back down a path. It's like, there was no plan. And I know that George Lucas, he didn't have a plan. He says he did. He says he knew what was going to happen all along. He didn't, but at least he executed it a bit better. This just feels every single second that they screw something up, they change something or bring something back or try and say, oh, this is an old Star Wars, look, we brought back this familiar face or we're changing this and we're changing that so it just doesn't flow together with what you've already done. Bringing back the Emperor is offensive, stupid, annoying, frustrating, a slap in the face to Star Wars. The culmination of the original series was Darth Vader's redemption. He beat the Emperor. He saved Luke. Everything, you know, a party. Everyone was happy. When we defeat the Empire in this new trilogy, Disney, what's to say they're not just going to form again? Because that's exactly what they did. You defeated the Empire in the original trilogy and they formed again. Under a different name, the First Order. Bunch of wankers. They formed again. Casually. No reward is worth this. I know there's lots of people saying, we don't know if the Emperor's alive because it's just his laugh. It could be a ghost. It could be this and that. But I'm hearing... I'm hearing lots of stuff, but the Emperor is in fact alive. And it just shows me what they want. They just want to go, here's the Emperor, he's back. I'm sorry that we fucked you over in the last films. Here's the Emperor, you love the Emperor, right? I can feel your anger. That's something cool, right? You'll come back for that. No, we won't come back for that, because we saw the end of a trilogy, the end of an era that we grew up with, that means a lot to us, Star Wars fans. That means everything to a lot of people. Just shitting on what's come before. You've got Billy D. Williams in this trailer, Lando, the only one left, because you killed off and dis dismantled everyone from the original trilogy and replaced them with uninteresting characters, like Rey. Just one of the most uninteresting characters in the history of film. Spends this trailer running away from a fucking ship where she could turn around and just slice it with a lightsaber, but she'd rather look cool. She'd rather look like Resident Evil or Neo from The Matrix or Trinity. Why didn't you just slash it with the thing? This film is all, this this whole trilogy is all visuals. Visuals, cool things. No story, no heart, no character. The Emperor is one of the most brilliant characters in all of Star Wars and to just bring him back after he was defeated, finally. The end of that whole era. Bring him back, yeah he's still alive. He was controlling things all along. He's still alive. And what annoys me the most is I know for a fact, a solid gold fact, they didn't plan to do this, and they've only brought him back because fan interest has gone down because of the backlash. They went, that's fucking hell, I don't like to get rid of Luke and Han Solo. Bring back the Emperor, bring back Lando, bring back, you know, Lando is just in there because he's the last of the breed. You wouldn't have had to have had Lando be the only interesting thing about this trailer if he didn't kill off Luke Skywalker. If he didn't, you know, I know Han Solo, Harrison Ford was a bit of an ass. he probably would have demanded he died. Don't everybody thank me at once. And obviously the, you know, the tragedy with Carrie Fisher, but you want to keep some of them alive, you want to keep Luke Skywalker alive. 
But no, he didn't. Or at least you kill him when he's done something. Han Solo died before he'd even done anything. And it's just so tragic. All the characters who fought for peace and harmony, they're just defeated by another First Order, casually, which was the Emperor all along. So the Emperor was sitting there playing Xbox whilst everyone was getting fucked over and he went, yep, I know what I'm doing here. Everything is going towards my plan. So egotistical, it just, we didn't just bring back anyone. Doesn't matter if it was a key part of the story that they're gone. No one's ever really gone. All oh, right, so is, is, is Han Solo dead? Is Luke Skywalker dead? Are you just going to bring them back because you realise you fucked up? That's exactly what this is. Realising you fucked up, bringing back familiar faces because you realise you fucked up to get that final bit of interest. Because you know that no one cares about Rey. You know no one cares about Finn. No one cares about the characters you have tried to replace the old characters with. So now you're panicking trying to bring back the old characters. That's exactly what this is. And it really frustrates me. And it just drives me insane, guys. It really drives me insane. And we're going to see the Emperor. Like, wh what the fuck's he been doing for how many years? Just sitting there on his ass. So that is my thoughts on the Episode 9 trailer. It just it really annoyed me. Even if he's not alive. I still consider it an insult to have some sort of ghost in there or something like that because he was defeated finally. That was the culmination of that entire series and now it means nothing. Just a systematic destruction, dismantling of Star Wars is going on and I'm not a fan of this at all guys. But again guys, this is not an attack on anyone who is a fan of this series, it's just me. I wish I could like it, I wish I could like it, I wish I could be on board with you. But what do you guys think of the Episode 9 trailer? What do you think of bringing back the Emperor? Do you think it's a good thing? Do you think it's a bad thing? Do you think it's a terrible thing? And what are your thoughts overall? Are you looking forward to Star Wars Episode 9? So thanks for watching everyone. Please subscribe if you enjoy videos about retro movies, superhero movies and geeky movie talk. And I will see you guys in the next video.